So one of the biggest tools that we were looking at as part of this course is LinkedIn. And chances are, if you are thinking about a career in Europe or North America and most of the Western world, you do have to have a, a successful LinkedIn profile. It will stay with you whilst you're at university, once you move from one job to another, and when you're moving countries or anything else that you might want to do with your career. LinkedIn is a great source for you to keep in touch with your colleagues, so the people who you are at the university with, at school with, and those connections that you develop as your professional career moves on as well. You will find that the individuals that you are connected to now might move on to another company where you might be interested to work in, in the future. And actually keeping those connections alive and keeping them intact is a great resource and a great investment in your social capital that will be paying you in the future. So, how do you evaluate the exciting things that you've done on LinkedIn during this course? Well, the very basic thing that you can look at in terms of evaluating yourself is uh, having a look at your dashboard. Your dashboard gives you an overview of some basic statistics, which just gives you an overview of number of people who viewed your profile. So the number of connections is a really good indication of your social capital. Also, another measure that you might be looking at is the number of people that are commenting and liking your posts and updates on LinkedIn. And also, it's quite important the number of endorsements that you have as an individual. There is no point for you to have uh, a range of endorsements uh, that are just talking about the same topic. But what's useful for you is uh, to get a number of different endorsements, say, from somebody who is your manager, who is your colleague, who is somebody who you managed as well. So you have a 360 degree of you as an individual or somebody who is able to show uh, skills of leadership, management and being managed as an employer as well. So LinkedIn Analytics gives you a number of different options. So it's really useful for you to think about the most useful numbers that uh, you are focusing on and keep an eye on those and try and see how you can optimize those figures that are going to make you a sort of a more successful career individual in the future. One of obviously useful numbers to bear in mind is the number of connections that are relevant for your career and re relevant for your industry. However, sometimes you can't foresee individuals' careers developing. So if you see somebody working for a company A and you're not interested in a career in that company, but that individual moving on to a company B and you are very keen to join that company B, it's also a great option for you to keep connection and actually uh, link up with that person and then see whether they're able to help you to get to company B as well. So have a look at LinkedIn Analytics, make a record of the things that you've achieved and reflect on how you can maintain and what figures you'll be focusing on.